I'm rather fond of this little reserve. It's um, got a beautiful playground for the kids, uh, a variety of grassy and woody areas, nice paths. It's not very big, but uh, the paths are laid out in such a way as you can zigzag along and pretend you're in a much larger park and have a very good walk or even run. Not that I'm much of a runner. Anyway, today I wanted to say a few words about external audio on the Femi Palm 2. Uh, I've had some mixed experience with it, as have some other users, and I've kind of come to a conclusion. I've tried it with three different external mics, uh, one of which didn't work at all, even though it works perfectly well with the Osmo Pocket 2, DJI Pocket 2. And um, another one, which was a stereo mic, worked okay. That worked um, only in mono. Now that was a self-powered mic, it's got its own batteries. Um, I also tried it with a, uh, a mic by newer uh, DM15, I think, off the top of my head. And that gave odd results with um, on the loudest peaks, and particularly if there's a bit of wind noise or other low frequency noise, it would kind of cut out. Um, and the last one that I used uh, with some success, which is this one, uh, which I'll show you shortly, was the uh, DJI Flexi Mic, which is a product I've mentioned before and which um, uh, is no longer available except you can find it online at remarkably cheap prices really just a few dollars and it's just right with the Femi Palm. Now the difference between these I suspect is down to their operating voltage. Um, there's what's called plug-in power on the output of the uh, or the mic input of the Femi Palm and plug-in power um, is essential for mics that don't have their own power and or don't have batteries. And I've done some measurements, and on the Femi Palm, the voltage for the plug-in power is 2.1 volts. Now, I compared this with a Zoom audio recorder, and that has something like 2.6 volts, um, somewhat greater. And the mic that goes with that Zoom recorder, a Zoom F1, nice little tiny pocket recorder the lav mic that comes with that didn't work at all on the Femi palm so I'm thinking to myself maybe it needs those 2.5 volts and in fact looking on the internet um, plug-in power often requires or often comes in voltages up to 5 volts so the 2.1 volts of the uh, Femi palm 2 is kind of on the low side and if it's not backed by adequate current availability, during low frequency peaks when there's a lot of excursion movement of the diaphragm of the mics, the mic could just basically run out of voltage, run out of power, and kind of cut out, which is what you hear. It's not audio distortion, it's more of a cutting out phenomenon. Um, now this may not be FEMI's fault as such, because it's probably something built right into the chips that they use, standard chip, which just doesn't have enough voltage on it. And I suspect Femi won't be able to do anything about it in uh, a firmware revision. So my advice would be find a mic that does work and don't expect all mics to work. You should be pretty safe with a mic that's self-powered, but if it's um, a plug-in power one, you may not find any specification of what voltage it requires so it's a matter of trial and error but I can just recommend these little DJI flexi mics and um, if you can find one go for it I hope that helps <laughs>